congratulations to today's daily shout out winners if you want to win a shout out leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shout out in my next video hey guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here hi my name is lissy be sure to subscribe button if you guys have not joined the family yet because we are getting so close to 2 million subscribers and i'm so excited anyways guys today we're going to be talking about something that kind of scares me a lot i know i've talked about this particular thing in a past video but i found out some more stuff today that's pretty interesting so you guys know these things right Furbies, they're annoying, they're creepy, they kind of scare me a lot, and they have eyes that almost look like they're hiding webcams inside. Well, today I was doing some research about these little creatures, and I found some really interesting tea. The tea, ladies and gentlemen, is once again hot! Furbies have an app. I know, I, I wasn't even suspecting these little creepy creatures to have an app either, but they apparently somehow do. Also, if you guys have never seen a Furby, let me catch you guys up really quick. So this is one of my Furbies and there is a camera in his head. Why is there a camera in my Furby's head? I don't really know. I think it's used for motion detection, but who knows why there's really cameras here. And also, not only that, but my Furby reacts to other Furbies around it. So if there was another Furby, the camera could pick that up and then talk back to the other Furby. So that's why I have not one annoying Furbies, but two very scary. Thing just woke up all by itself. Two terrifying Furbies. They're communicating to each other. Furbies? Did you say it hates me? Yeah, these things are creepy. Anyways, today I was going to talk more about why Furbies... Why? Shut up, Furby. You gotta go poopy. Ew, shut up, Furby. But today we're going to talk about why Furbies really scare me. And we're also going to test a creepy app that I found in the app store that's literally about these little creatures. I got pooping. Stop saying you want to go poop. Anyways, we're going to get started. Before I test the scary Furby app that I found, I want to talk about some interesting facts about Furbies that you guys might not know and that I didn't know until today. So here's the first one. Apparently Furbies were banned by a USA spy base at one point. There was a particular group that did not think that Furbies were a good idea. There was a concern that Furbies would possibly record and repeat confidential material and since Furbies had those webcams you know and could hide some materials inside to record voices and video they ended up getting banned completely from a US spy base because there was concern for that which is kind of creepy because if you think about it it really would be easy to hide a camera or a voice recorder and any kind of toy a teddy bear any kind of stuffed animal I've been concerned about that theory for a while thinking that any toy has animatronic parts inside of it that could walk or, you know, talk, could easily hide things to help spy on children or anybody, which is honestly kind of creepy. Another creepy fact about Furby is that Furbies have their own language. So all the weird nonsense that Furbies are saying actually translate in a Furby dictionary, and they translate to real English words, which we can kind of get a base off of what our Furbies are saying to us and telling us what they want. You could say actually over a hundred words in Furby speak, in the language of Furbish, of course. Furbish is Furby's native language. It starts out by only speaking Furbish and then begins integrating English into its vocabulary as its owner speaks to it more. So the more that us or children speak to the Furbies, the more English they pick up from listening to our voice and talking to us, which is kind of creepy because it must be listening to us if it's picking up our English. A 2005 English to Furbish dictionary included 121 different words, including diamond, echo, monster, momo, and what's up, duo tie. So some of those words that you hear my Furbies say a lot and super commonly are the words that I just said, which don't even make much sense. Designers were also concerned that it would be too girly and that little boys would not want Furby, when in reality, I find Furbies to be pretty gender neutral. I think that anyone can have a Furby. I just think that they're all kind of scary looking and have their own unique vibe to them. There were some Furbies. I'm not going to say they're all scary. There were some that were kind of cute. I remember at one point, I bought a random little Furby toy from a thrift store because I thought it was cute. However, Furby was primarily targeted at young girls. Designers at the Tiger Electronics, which invented the toy, wanted it to appeal to boys as well. So the solution that they thought would help with that is giving Furbies the ability to burp and fart. I don't know 
who thought that was a good idea because honestly any toy can be for any kid boy or girl if you really wanted it to be we don't have to really put a gender on stuff but I guess they thought the best solution was to make Furby's burp and fart for some reason this next fact is actually really creepy kind of along with the first one so there was a concerned effort to actually hack into Furby's at one point in 1999 an engineer named Peter issued the hack Furby challenge which offered $250 to the first person who can make a Furby reprogrammable. The engineers at Tiger Electronics had intentionally made this difficult by encasing the relevant components in an epoxy shell, in part to avoid the fate of Play School's talking Barney toy which was relatively easy to hack so that it could say curse words. So some people thought it was a good idea to make it a challenge to try to hack into Furbies and make them say things and do things that they were not supposed to do and be reprogrammed in ways that they were not supposed to be reprogrammed. Which is honestly creepy because there's a lot of stories about Furbies that have said things and done things that were not very Furby-like and that Furby was not even supposed to do at all. Also, there was a concern that over Furby securities aren't just a thing of the 90s. Late last year, Hasbro released the Furby Connect, which uses an internet-connected mobile app to interact with the world around it. That's the app that I'm going to be testing even though I don't have one of the Furbies that you need for Furby Connect. By the way, if this video were to somehow get to, let's put the bar high as usual, 20,000 likes, maybe I will buy the Furby that I need to get to connect to the app Furby Connects. I just want to test it and see what it's like without the actual Furby because my Furbies don't connect to the app. It's the newer ones only. However, this app brought a lot of concern to people that used it. They were concerned and were warned that a lack of robust security measures made it possible to hack into the toy and use it as a service surveillance device through the Furby app somehow. So people were scared that if they can get into an app that was maybe owned by a kid who had a Furby, that they could get access to their Furby and somehow spy on kids through the app with the Furby. Which is actually so scary to think about because, I don't know, that just creeps me out and that keeps me up at night. I would not want my Furby just, you know, all of a sudden waking up in the middle of the night and some person's watching me through the webcam on the Furby. Oh, that's creepy. Although Furbies are pretty old, they go for quite a bit of money online. In fact, some Furbies be going for thousands of dollars just because they were super limited edition and you can't get your hands on any of those super old antique Furbies anymore. Let's test the app now. Furby Connect World! Oh my gosh, I don't have one of those Furbies, but the pink one is pretty cute. Okay, let's hope it actually lets me play most of the features, because this app has some scary reviews on it. Do you have a Furby Connect toy? No, I don't have a Furby Connect toy! Okay, no, I'm gonna enter Furby World anyways, because I don't have a Furby Connect. What is happening? Why is this so advanced? Mushroom Village? Do they live in a mushroom or something? Oh, an egg! I just birthed a child! Am I a mom now? Is it mine? Okay, we're gonna touch this this baby egg that I think I just birthed. So, okay, let's open up my baby. Oh, I had the cracker open. Okay. This feels like abuse. Child abuse. Furby abuse. Ooh! I got a blue baby! Oh my gosh, he's so cute! Oh, he's scared. Why does it look like my dog when he did that ear thing? Okay, hi little buddy. I don't know what I'm gonna name you. Oh, that laugh. Ooh! What did he say? <laughs> Whoa! Look at him walk! He walks like a penguin! He's kinda cute though! He wants a watermelon! You want this watermelon? Watermelon! What if I like tempt him with it? He's like watching it like talking Angela does. He devoured that thing! Getting thicker than a snicker! Ew that bird! Whoa! Imagine if there were stalkers in this app too, like through the eyes. Oh my gosh, the tea, the tea. Yo, this app is weird. I don't really know what the objective here is, but it is kind of strange. How many Furbies am I going to hatch? Am I going to get like a bunch of baby Furbies? What's it going to play? Say hello to the Furby Connect friend from Hasbro. With its Bluetooth connection, Furby Connect is updated frequently with new surprises, like songs. That is terrible. When the antenna glows, that means Furby. Out of all songs, why that song? No. Furby loves to share kid-friendly videos. I'm really concerned right now with this ad. What is the point? Please tell me this is like a really old ad, guys. This is so concerning. I can't take it no more. 
I can't take it. This app is literally trying to plug by the Furby Connect. I don't know, man. This Furby app is creepy. I got more eggs. Like, okay, I just want to know what the eggs do. Can I hatch them? Am I getting more eggs? I'm going to have like a mini army of Furbies running around everywhere. Did I get a new one? Can I birth it? Okay, I just want to see what's inside this egg and I'm probably going to stop because this app is too much for me to handle, honestly. Can I just open the egg, please? Please. What Furby is this? Oh, she's cute, though. She looks like some kind of, like, Greek goddess Furby. She looks shy, though. Okay, I've had enough Furby app. That was, that was weird. That was really strange. In conclusion, today, the only thing we learned is that Furbies kind of scare me. And there's been a lot of tea online about Furbies coming alive with no batteries inside of them, having webcams, and just being haunted and kind of scary. But this Furby is asleep, so I really don't want to wake it up because once you wake up Furby, good luck turning it off. It's going to be really annoying for a very long time. But my dog also, she's sleeping on the bed, but she hates Furbies, so I'm, I'm going to leave her alone. No, I turned the Furby on putting it down. Ah! Furby, why are you so annoying? Hmm, give me sass, Mom, don't you? I got poopy. We know you gotta go poopy, and I don't wanna know, and I don't care, okay? Furby, do you love me? He hates me still. Every time I swear, it says I hate you when I say, Furby, do you love me? Do I have a haunted Furby? Maybe. I just don't know at this point. I'm gonna try to film the extra, but the Furby's not gonna shut up. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and hit the subscribe button since we're getting so close to 2 million subscribers. Also, guys, leave a comment down below telling me, have you guys ever owned a Furby during your childhood? Because I sure did, and I was super young when I had them. But I got rid of my old ones, and now I have just these two that I got from the thrift store. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for today's new video. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys! So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.